72. Okay, 72. Okay, so listen, yeah, you're asymptom- not, You know, it's not exacerbated by water. But, but hang on, I hang on. Let me, get, let, me, let me tell you my point here, and I know, I know you're going to understand this. You're asymptomatic, and that means you don't have any symptoms. But if right. you're 72, how could you possibly not have some, some degree of sclerosis going on, of clogging oh, going on? Good. You have to. You have to. It's part of the way yeah. we live. So asymptomatic or not, you can assume that you're clogging up. All right, and that's basically what PVD is, peripheral vascular, some people say peripheral artery disease. What basically is happening is blood's not moving through. You're clogging up. And this happens because the lining of the blood vessels gets, gets coated with deposits from dirt in the blood. Remember, you probably heard me say this if you've listened to the program. All disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is dirty blood. Have you heard me say this? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all dirty blood. And what happens when the blood gets dirty? Eventually, the pieces of dirt, and when I say dirt, I mean particles of food, I mean minerals like calcium and fats and uh, dead cells, immune cells, they start to accumulate on the surface of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the blood vessel. The lining of the blood vessel starts to get filled with dirt. Then an inflammatory process ensues. You get inflammation. You get the immune response. Basically, it's every single thing we're talking about in terms of disease and inflammation and clogging, except it's happening in the blood vessel itself. So what you got to do is, number one, you got to start to clean the blood, and that starts with digestive health. And you're on the right track with the fast, but do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. See, the reason I'm pointing this out is because it's counterintuitive. It doesn't really make sense. You're talking about peripheral artery disease, and I'm talking about your digestion. Unless you listen to the bright side, you think those are two separate things. But they're not. They're the same thing because the blood gets dirty from the digestive tract, from the intestine. So you've got to clean out the digestive system, food diary, all the things we just talked about with our, with our last caller, the Fucoid Z and probiotics and fermented foods, which I forgot to tell our last, li- our last caller, fermented foods and uh, increase, uh, uh, um, provide a better environment for the bacteria in the gut with fiber and with apple cider vinegar, et cetera. Make sure you're keeping sugar out of the blood as best as possible. Blood sugar, accumulations of sugar in the blood will damage the blood vessels. That will create an inflammatory response. So you want to make sure that bread, pasta, sweet potatoes, potatoes, et cetera, anything that breaks down into sugar is kept down to a minimum. And then use your sweeties and your B vitamins and your your, uh, uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Anything you can, magnesium, alpha lipoic acid. By the way, do you know alpha lipoic acid is actually medicine for diabetics in Europe? Alpha lipoic acid, you have to go to the health food store to get that, around 400 milligrams a day. So again, that's the blood sugar component. Then there's the oxygen component, hypoxia, low blood oxygen will clog the blood. Make sure you're just practicing nice, slow, deep breathing. And then... Uh, and, and exercise, too. You want to move your circulation. You want to get on a rebounder or hang upside down. Move the lymph. If the lymph is clogged, the blood vessels will become clogged. And then last but not least for atherosclerosis or PVD or Alzheimer's disease, I don't know if you heard me yesterday talking about how Alzheimer's disease is atherosclerosis of the brain and atherosclerosis right. is Alzheimer's of the brain. Same thing. Another important strategy for Alzheimer's disease or uh, PAD or PVD is chelation therapy. Have you heard of this, Susan? Yeah, right. Chelation. Get chelation. It's amazing for everybody. If I was if I was president, I would say chelation therapy for everybody. Forget Obamacare. Chelation for everybody. It's amazing. Uh, IV? IV is the best, but if you don't want to deal with it, then you can use chelating agents orally. But yes, IV is the best. We should all, it's expensive and it's a pain in the butt. You got to go to the doctor or naturopath to do it, but it's worth it. All right, Susan, I got to move on. Thank you so much for your call. Thank Appreciate you. it. And thank you for your work and, and your service and, and, and taking care of your health, too. That's so important. Sheila, Massachusetts, what's going on? Welcome to the bright side. Hi. Sheila. Hey, Sheila. Hi. Um, could you tell me um, how to treat? A nodule on the thyroid. Okay. Nodules on the thyroid, a growth on the thyroid, is not a growth on the thyroid. It is, a, it is rapidly dividing thyroid cells. That's what we were talking about earlier, and we talk about a lot, is it's not a thyroid problem, it's a thyroid cell problem. Now, the okay. thyroid is always looking around for iodine, so the first thing to do is make sure you got enough iodine. If you don't have iodine, the thyroid will actually get bigger in order to scarf up more iodine, so make sure you're getting some iodine. And uh, okay. the best way to do that would be seaweed and fish and ocean products. Iodine's an ocean mineral. Seaweed is awesome. Sea vegetation. You can also use iodorol, uh, I, which is an iodine supplement. I-O-D-O-R-O-L, I think it is. It's iodorol. You have to Google that. There might be an A in there somewhere. What about 
niacin or iodide. Well, let me... Yeah, that's good. Niacin iodide? Niacin iodide. Oh, niacin iodide? You know, I hear good things about it. I, I don't know enough about it to say. Uh, but I do okay. hear good things about it, so you might want to try that. The next thing you yep. want to do is make sure your thyroid's healthy. That's the iodine component, but it's much more than just iodine for the thyroid. We have this crazy idea that if you have a thyroid problem, all you do is take iodine. Not true. Not true. And you can always tell a medical charlatan when they say that. Oh, you got an iodine, a thyroid problem? Take iodine. Iodine is important, yes. Nobody's dismissing iodine as, a, as an essential nutrient. It's important for a lot of things. But it, the thyroid is dependent on the adrenal glands, on female hormones, on digestive health. This is a very a little, unfortunately, not highly regarded connection to the thyroid. That's the, the microbiome, gut bacteria. Thyroid hormone is activated by gut bacteria. If you got a messed up gut, the wrong kind of gut bacteria, you're going to have a thyroid problem. So once again, wow. yeah. So and, and then it's a circle because the thyroid regulates the gut. So the gut breaks down, then the thyroid gets weaker, and because the thyroid regulates the gut, and then the gut breaks down more, and then the thyroid gets weaker, and you get this downward spiral. So work on the digestive system, food diary, eliminate problem foods, probiotics, the nightly essence. You know, I, I don't want to, you, you, know, you know what I'm going to say. I say it all the time. <laughs> Work on the digestive system. Then you want to f make sure that you're taking care of your oxygenation. When the sympathetic nervous system, the stress nervous system is l activated long term, eventually the thyroid will slow down. I'll say that again. That's so important. When we're under long term stress, and that could be cancer, it could be a degenerative disease, or it could be emotional or mental stress. When we're under long term stress, eventually the thyroid will slow down. That when the, it's, a, it's a compensating mechanism. The sympathetic nervous system makes you all jittery. And so the thyroid kind of slows down to compensate. So activating the relaxation nervous system, which counteracts the stress nervous system, is a major strategy for thyroid health. And that is deep breathing and mental relaxation strategies and hot water and massages, uh, yoga, meditation. All of these are great ways to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Even gratitude, even socializing. These, these are all of the wonderful ways we can address our health that don't require a doctor that unfortunately get marginalized as not being important. Well, I'm here to tell you having friends is, is just as important for your health as a, any prescription drug. And you don't have to deal with detox. Detoxification. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila. I hope I helped you. Thank, you. Thank you for your call. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry if we left you on hold. I apologize. Call back tomorrow, and uh, we'll get you first up. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.